the lady is saying that she's in love with two men equally. She doesn't know who is fathering the child. Blessing see you. Yes. Can you be in love with two men at the same time? No. But you can be benefiting from two men at the same time. This young lady is not even in love with any of them. You cannot love two people equally. If we're even going to be honest on this show, even our children, we always have favorites. We might not show it. There are some women that their husbands cannot have conversation with because they don't have sense. Your husband will stay at work till 12, 1 a.m. with his secretary. Now so fuck, take this, start. Sometimes your husband did not plan to sleep with his receptionist. But because she knows the job, and she's closer to him, and you alone, Buruku, you don't know anything. That's the reason why he cannot go home and ask you any question, because you don't know. Hi guys, it's Moments with Blessing CEO. And thank you once more for sticking there, waiting for Blessing CEO. Today's topic is going to be a bang. And if this is the first time you're joining this program, this is what it's all about. Moments with Blessing CEO is sharing your stories and we talk about everything that happened behind closed doors. You know what you see on the media is just fairy tales. People come on the media to lie. In fact, I used to tell you that people who are married on the media and showing themselves off, they are content creators. What did I say? When you see two married couples, every time they are snapping pictures, they are doing love. They are not couples. They are content creators. The real marriage does not come on camera. Even divorce, if people tell you what divorce their marriage, it is not this nonsense like I said on the camera, it's a different thing. That's what we talk about. Everything that happens behind closed doors. Because these days, a lot of young girls are beginning to ask, what's going on with marriage? There are people that we look up to in those days, we'll be like, oh, oh. Now, um, AY came and wrote a piece too. Um, Cora Obini came and wrote a piece too. You know, people that we really look up to, that we're like, oh, marriage is sweet. All of them. Even some of us were even saying, okay, maybe they are young in the marriage. But we put that after 25 years. They said they're not doing it again. So that is what we talk about. Everything that happened behind closed doors. We share opinions. It's a live show. Once I'm done reading the story, you can now call in and share your own opinion. Now, the story we get to share are from real life human beings. People share those millions of stories. So please, I am sorry if I have never read your story on the show. It's going to come up one day. The reason why I cannot read all the stories that most of you send to me is because almost all the stories are similar. It's just that they are different individuals. So you can still learn from other people. I must not talk specifically to you. Even everybody watching this program right now, you learn every day. So let's get into the topic and know what we have for today. So a lady wrote me and said, Blessing CEO, I'm in love with two men. I love both of them and I don't want to lose the both of them. I love them equally too, but the other guys does not know each other. The relationship is about to lead to marriage, but I love them both. The truth is, if I marry one, I will cheat with the other one because I still love him. Blessing see you, I love you, and I know you look out for women. Is it bad to love two people equally? I am sleeping with the both of them without protection. So even if I marry, she said, I am sleeping with them. She's sleeping with both of them without protection. So even if I get married and get pregnant, I will not be able to know the father of the child, except if something comes and they run a DNA. Blessing, see, see you. 
help me. Okay. Let me summarize the story. The lady is saying that she's in love with two men equally. We're going to break it down before the call starts to come in. She loves them equally, but the two men don't know their self. Oh. They are all feeling that my girlfriend is safe. My girlfriend is safe. I'm the only one that have her. She is the one that is having the two boyfriends. Good. Now, these two men, maybe she was so blessed and God gave her two good men. According to her, one of the guys is willing to marry her. But she's still in love with the other guy because she said, to be very honest, even if she accepts the proposal from any of them, she's still going to be sleeping with them because she's in love with them. So she's trying to tell me that even now, if she should get pregnant, she doesn't know who is fathering the child because she's sleeping with the both men without protection. He shocked me. You know, being in a relationship therapy, sometimes we were taught professionally to watch our body language. When you go for courses, they tell you watch your body language because there is how you will blink your eye. You have already made the person feel uncomfortable. So I'm trying so hard for my face not to show how I feel. <laughs> That's why I'm actually sharing my teeth. But outside this camera, I might not be smiling. Let us not break it down. We are not in this show to judge. And that's why it's Pop Central only that brings this kind of educative show. We are not in this show to insult because almost everybody is guilty of one thing or the other. What I realize is that when somebody is talking about one thing, 200 people can be going through the same thing. So that is why I do not judge. Now, this woman has said her story. You'll be so shocked that in the whole Africa, 200,000 women can be going through the same thing. The difference is that they have similar faces. I know so many times I have said my story when I divorced my ex-husband a few years ago. That was about 12 years ago. People could relate. People could say blessing is as if you picked a pen and paper and wrote my story. So people, when people can relate to you, it is so easy. Now, the question now is, let's break it down. Is it possible to be in love with two people? That's a very powerful question. I will answer you before we open up the phone line. Blessing see you. Is it possible to be in love with two people, be you a man or a woman? Can I love two women or four people? Can I love more than one person at the same time? Yes, you can. Agape love. Agape love is the one God said you should give everybody. As I'm looking at my director, I'll be telling him, good evening. Good evening. I pray good evening. That's the love he said you should be sharing in the world. That's the one he said you should share. They now have marital vows. Especially when this thing called relationship. I'm an advocate that say, if a man has not married you, you're not in a relationship, you're, you're not, you're not, he's not entitled to you. But when you are in a relationship and you know, because we are women, that the relationship is tilting somewhere, what do you do? You focus and give it your best. Now I will answer that question. And I want to look straight into your face. Why I answer the question? Blessing see you. Yes. Can you be in love with two men at the same time? No. But you can be benefiting from two men at the same time. This young lady who told us that she's in love with two men is not even in love with any of them. She's a hungry girl who is benefiting something from the person. If she's not a hungry girl, then there is a benefit. 
You cannot love two people equally. If we're even going to be honest on this show, because Moment is Blessing CEO is where we spill everything that happens behind. Even our children, we always have favorites. We might not show it, but there is always a favorite child. You cannot love two people at the same time. It is because there is something you are benefiting from them. That's the reason why you can't let them go. You can't let one go. Maybe this one is good in bed. I beat your shaker. This one has money. Ganduka, ganduka. So you are merging them together. If it, so that means if it was possible for women to marry two husbands, this woman would have married the two men. So it is not possible for you to be in love with two people. Remember, fidelity simply means focus. The day you say you want to get into a relationship is the day you say you want to be responsible. Listen it again. See that line? Write it down. Pick your pen and paper. Because the motivation is coming. The Lord is speaking. The day you say you want to enter a relationship is the day you say you want to be responsible. The day you say you want to marry is the day you say, I am capable and I have become a man. Relationship is responsibility. Marriage is responsibility because it gives you a room to be accountable to somebody. If you are my boyfriend, we are not married, but it's leading somewhere. Now from boyfriend, now we go into marriage now. It's leading somewhere, right? I give account to the man I love. It is accountability that builds trust. A guy can just see you on the road. Oh my God, beautiful girl. How are you doing? He collects your number. Do you know what that man is trying to do? He's trying to know you. He has seen your physical attributes. You get ash, you get breasts, you find gay. Now, he now wants to know who is this girl. Because you can never know people until you get to meet them. Then the man take you out one day, two days. He not call you again. No, say the man no wants. Relationship is where people choose to know you. Marriage is where they choose to keep you. Have that to the back of your mind. Those of you that are jumping from pillar to post, relationship to relationship. That's why your quickness is so wide. Really, anybody that comes into a relationship with you, and that's why I always advise women, date as much as you can date. Dating people does not mean you are sleeping with them. It's only Nigerians, I be Africans, that sexualize everything. When you're a well-traveled person outside the country where there are laws, you can't even look at a woman anyhow. She will sue you. Anybody who is well-traveled is well-composed. You will see naked women walking in the beach. Look now. Nah. I don't want to carry you go sell. So this thing is called discipline. So relationship comes with responsibility. Why is it not possible for you to love two people at the same time? You are going to be distracted. Anybody that is saying, I love two people at the same time, is a confused person. You don't know what to choose. You don't know what you want. If you want to say you love two people at the same time, it simply means there is something this person have you like, and there is something this person have you like. You cannot merge them together. You have to let one go and be able to deal with the weaknesses of the other one. If you are loving two women or two men at the same time, you are a selfish person. Because nobody is perfect. You are not perfect. And somebody is loving you. The beauty about relationship and marriage is I find my weakness. I find your weakness. I find my strength. You find your strength. And we are able to help one another. That's the reason why God said, two, we come together in agreement. Because there are some people who are coming from backgrounds, ghetto, 
childhood trauma. There are some men today that are not wicked. What is making them a beast is where they are coming from, where they grew from. That's your husband that you are saying is heartless. He was not born like that. It is grooming. That's why I always tell people, talk more than you fuck. The problem is when you enter the relationship, now so, so fuck, 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 with abortion, you go, they do. You never find time to communicate. I also used to tell people, the most three memorable moments in your lives, whether you are still dating your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, and wife, is what you do before sex. What you do during sex, what you do after sex, those are the three things that rings in your head. When you and somebody breaks up today, let's assume you have a girlfriend you love. Things didn't go the way you planned it. Do you know what will make you to be remembering the person? Those little, little moments. You don't used to remember, no, no. What makes you remember the person is the conversations. There is a conversation you will hear somewhere, you will smile because you have had that conversation with your woman before. So pay attention. If you are in love, what are you talking about before sex? Do you know you can actually be talking to your spouses? You guys do not plan to have sex and the conversation just leads to sex. During sex, do you communicate another powerful word? Because when you tell a man, let me tell you a secret in the, on this video. When you're making love to your husband, learn to look him straight in his face and tell him, I love you, baby, and I'm all yours. My body, my soul, my spirit. You can use my line. It's your pussy baby. So, <laughs> that actually boosts a man's ego. A man wants to know that he is part of you, that he owns you. That's where he can open up his mind to do everything for you. So, being in love with two men is a lie. You are a thief, you are an arm robber. And you are no lo show. Leave the two men to go and go and fix yourself. You have a problem. You are looking for men to put it on. Go and work on yourself. When you work on yourself as a woman, you can never be confused with the kind of man to choose. If I see the man I'm looking for now, I know him. By talking to you for 30 minutes, or 20 minutes hanging out with you, I knew whether I will hang out with you again. Just one hangout will make me know that this one, because I am psychosexual. Psychosexual simply means people who are moved with people that have sense, people that have brain, conversations. There are some men that once you have nyash, boy, they don't knock you. They don't even, but there are some men that don't just want to have sex. They believe in friendship. Some men might never want to have sex with you. It just starts with a simple conversation and a glass of wine. You guys begin to flow. There are some people that you meet in a day. It's as if you've met them in one year. That's what we call connection. When you just put the uh, socket for the wire, pa, light, sun come. That is how it starts. Once that connection is there and you guys work on it, that is the meaning of relationship and marriage. I hope I have cleared that side, that you cannot be in love with two men at the same time. This lady also said that she's go about getting married to one, but she knows that if she should marry one of them, she will still be sleeping with the other one. It simply means she already knows that when I marry this guy, I will still be cheating with the other guy. She already knows. And I like the fact that she's sincere. Right? Good. 
Now she's asking us, what should she do? Because she cannot let the two of them go. I'm going to tell you that you need prayer and fasting and you need counseling. Or maybe you need to come to my office so that I can draw your ear and put the message one by one. See how you have collected two men to yourself. But there are some women that did not have anybody. Now, see how you have brought two men together. You are about to destroy their emotional life. Their trauma. You don't know where they are coming from. A lot of them are coming from a place of brokenness where it took them time to build trust again. You, this daughter of Jezebel, Delilah, you have come again. Imagine if this man now gets to find out that this girl has been playing us all along. How do you expect this man to be in the society? Or imagine you marry one and start sleeping with the other one and the, uh, the both of them finds out. How do you expect them to treat us? Because the annoying part is that when this punishment is coming, it doesn't come to that woman. All of us go call it. It'll be like stray bullets. If men want to insult women, they will say all of us now shawo. Now only their mama and their sisters will know they call shawo. But every other girl now shawo. Why? Because you will keep doing rubbish. Once you do this to this man now, it switches their mindset. That sweet, loving, kind man becomes a beast. And when another woman comes into his life, she's like, what did I do? There are some women that are married to their husbands so that they're asking, what did I do? Some of your husbands are bleeding on you. You did not do anything. It is what their ex did to them that they are punishing you with. Yes. Because I've had couples come and say, I, don't, I didn't do anything to my husband. Sometimes I call my husband and I beg him, baby, what that? You did not do anything. It's called trauma. And there are some men, they just feel like they are of age. Any woman, where they just see where they just like, where they, they just marry. But they still have trauma issues. They still have unanswered questions. Because when people cheat on you sometimes, because of the emotions, you might not even have time to want to look at them or have conversations with them. You will grow to that level. Me, I have gone to the level that I can call my man and tell him, baby, let's go our separate way. So, but some people have not gotten to that level. Because I always see fights in my office all the time where they are arguing. Do you understand? But when you get to a level whereby you can communicate and talk to each other, then there will be no problem. Why am I emphasizing on this? Men are wicked. Men are so calm. Pretty wicked. Pretty people. Men, 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 men. It's not men. No. The only difference is that women are better in hiding. Women are better liars. Before they go talk, they don't start to cry. <laughs> Trust us now. You get what my director go do me now for this place. I go begin crying. I go arrest them. <laughs> Emotional blackmail. That is what women used to win men in society. A lot of men are going through a lot. Now you can imagine these two men that don't know each other. They are in their mind. They are thinking that they are dating. And this stupid girl that is dating these two men will still be telling them, don't cheat, oh. don't cheat, oh. don't cheat. Oh. Now you are holding two men ransom. Leave one for other people now. You no agree. So my point is, before we open up the phone lines, let us stop all this we are doing because we keep creating monsters for ourselves. And when we create these monsters, we are the ones to face it. All of us is shouting, Nigeria, 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 Nigeria. Now all of us are spoiled in Nigeria. Dollar, dollar, dollar. Even if dollar go down, you know, you know, agree bring down your food stuff. Boss was 50 naira. Dollar went up. Boss is now 100 naira. Dollar has gone down. Lie, lie. Driver, no go agree bring them back to 50 naira. And you'll be saying, government, it is you as a person. You are the people. If you know you are not ready to be focused and in relationship, leave it for some people. 
Don't come and spoil it for us. Not when you reach our turn and they come and be blowing us. I said, I will cause the problem for them. Some men are bleeding on you. You even hear some men say, my ex, my ex, my ex. There are some men that you will meet, they will never stop talking about their exes. Those are the kind of men to even run away from. You know that that one has not healed. A lot of men have not healed. And so many men actually think that healing is when I come out of a relationship, I go to beer parlor, I drink, I hang out, I find that like, is a lie. You need at least one to two years to reheal. You do hear what I said? I repeat again. You need at least one to two years to heal. You are going to be asking me why. Why? Because when you are in, in a relationship with somebody, you have picked up so many characters and so many ideologies that you did not even know. When you are in a relationship and marriage with somebody, you become them without knowing. So when you leave a relationship or leave a marriage, the first thing you do is to detox your system. As a relationship therapist, that's what we do. As you're coming out of marriage, we will help you to detox your system. That thing that you have learned in that marriage, you have to unlearn it. Because this thing called marriage and life is a mindset. You don't like me because you don't agree because of I think a certain way. You don't like me because I wear makeup. You don't like me because I wear... You have your own personal reasons. But when it comes to marriage, that's why I always tell people, marry people you can't talk to. And communication is there. We're not going to have a problem of, I have two men I'm in love with, I have three men I'm in love It's not going to occur. So dear beautiful woman, you are not in love with two men. You are only benefiting from two men. You are a thief. You are an arm robber. Hmm? You are what? You are a thief. And if Good we evening. begin to trace, you will see that. We have a call, guys. Let's quickly take up this call. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, Mr. Boniface, I'm calling from Lagos. Okay, so go ahead. You want to contribute to the show? Okay, I think we lost the caller. We lost the caller. Um, I was talking about infidelity, and I was saying that these are the things that mold a lot of people into the society. All these men you are saying they are scum, they are scum. They are not scum. It's women like you and I that turn them to scum. That's the honest truth. They were good, wonderful, loving men. And there is this mindset you um, African women have. I need to say it on this show. And I want you to look at me in my eyes. Can you see me? Because I can see you. Why do you always think that when a man showers you love, give you everything that you ask, that he's a mumu, he's a maga? I will ask you again. Small, small Gen Z buddies. What makes you think that when a man gives you money, spends on you, he's a mumu? He's not. Anything you love, you give. The moment somebody says they love you and they cannot give you, they don't love you, I will take you to the Bible. I like myself because I did no different chapter. God, they give me motivation immediately I come to the show. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to come and die for our sin. He did not give cow. So that person that is giving you is not a maga. Sometimes we pray for helpers. Who do you think the helpers are? It is God that will send human beings. It is human beings that will still come to grant that prayer request. So let us begin to unlearn all those rubbish. Because that is what is making a lot of men. Kwechiri, there was a time men used to train women in school. Yes. You pay their school fees, take them to school, I want to marry her. The man will not go to school, he'll be hustling in the market. His wife will be going to school. When she become a graduate, she'll say that she's not doing it again. That she cannot marry an Alabama man that's illiterate. 
Now, no man go train you for school. Your partner not train you for school. You day out. We have a caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. Okay. What's your name and where are you calling from? Do we still have the caller? I think we lost the caller. I don't know what the problem is. Please, when you're calling the number on the screen, turn down the volume of your television. We are talking about infidelity, and we are also talking about a woman who says, is it possible to love two people at the same time? And I was saying, no, it is not possible. I say it every time on this show. We have a caller. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, my darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Mary Jane. I'm calling from Airborne State. Oh, my darling, I'm from Airborne State. So, do you want to share something? Go ahead, Mary Jane. Yes, it's, it's about the, the story you narrated. Go ahead. So, the girl, I think the girl is not really in love with those guys, but she's interested in their money. Maybe she doesn't have anything to do in life, as in something that earns her money. Okay. She is probably dating one of those guys because of the money the guy is giving to her. Okay. So if she really wants to help herself, she should put them to a royal test, a royalty test, you know, the one that is probably in love with her and the one she really loves. Because right now she's confused on the other person to choose for marriage. And if she eventually go on, go on and marry one of those guys, she will end up regretting it all her lifetime. So she should just help herself by trying to know the one that loves her most and the one that her heart accepts mostly for her not to make a mistake that she will live to regret in her lifetime. Thank you. God bless you so much, my darling. That is Mary Jane calling from a born state. She made a very valid point, but I'm going to counter her opinion. She said the woman should put them to a loyalty test. I know the one that I love her the most. She's the one that she put to loyalty test. Why you're putting a man to loyalty test when you are the cheat? The reason why you have not gotten the best from any of these men or you are confused is because you've not focused on one. You can never know if people love you when you are sneaking into answer one call, changing SIM card. You cannot stay with your boyfriend peacefully. Your phone every time is on silent mood. Your phone is always black. They don't see the light of all of them don't use black screen. Now some of, some people put three black um, screen protector. Like even if you shine your eye, you know go see anything. Some people don't use their picking face. Use their face. Use their grandmother face. They lock phone. How do you put a person to a loyalty test? This thing called love is gambling. We're gambling. There's a reason why God gave us a heart that nobody can see. If God actually wants to open up people's mind there, eh, we for don't kill all ourselves by now. So no. When you get into a relationship and you meet a man and you find 30% to what you're looking for in a man, you know the biggest problem we have is not men. Many women don't know what they want. That's the problem. If you bring five men now for them to choose, they say, eh. It's like they don't even know. So if you don't know what you want, things will always pass you by. There are so many of you that opportunity have knocked on your door. But because you don't even know it's opportunity, it has gone. So first thing as a woman, I always tell women, find out who you are. Find out your identity. Leave men alone. Men will always come. When they come, there is a very powerful question men are asking these days that women are picking offense. One man asked me that question when he took me for a dinner date. And I will throw that question on this video, on this show. He said, blessing, what if I should ask you this popular question? I said, go ahead. I hope you're not going to be offended. I said, no, why not? We're having a conversation. He said, if I should ask you now, or I want to get married to you now, and ask you what, what you can bring to the table, can you tell me what you can bring to the table? Trust me now, my lovers. Blessings to you, Ami. 
who not supposed to know my response. I will repeat it again. Blessed CEO, please don't be angry. I just want to know. What would you have to bring to the table? And my response to him was, I have already bought the table. Oga, provide a chef. He looked at me and he smiled. What does he mean? When a man asks you, what do you have to bring to the table? He's simply asking you, what have you been doing all your life? Before you met me, what have you done to do? What businesses have you tried? What are your life goals? So were you just sitting down, jumping from place to place and waiting for me to come and marry you? That's the meaning of what you have to bring to the table. Your brains. Which school did you go to? How innovative are you? If your husband is doing business and he comes back home and says, baby, this is what is happening. Can I talk to my wife? Is my wife intelligent enough for us to have? There are some women that their husbands cannot have conversation with because they don't have sense. Your husband will stay at work till 12, 1 a.m. with his secretary. Now, so fuck, take the stats. Sometimes your husband did not plan to sleep with his receptionist. But because she knows the job and she's closer to him, and you, Oloni Buruku, you don't know anything. That's the reason why he cannot come home and ask you any question because you don't know. So I used to tell a lot of women know a little bit of everything. Like your husband will be eager to come home to share. Baby, see what happened. You contribute the little you can. Don't be a dullard and say, oh, because I'm married, everything is good. So as a woman, if a man asks you what you have to bring to the table, you better go and start buying the table. Because these days, women are working so hard to afford, afford to buy a table. So, like I was saying, we are talking about the beautiful woman who says she's in love with two men. And she has asked us on this program behind that she wants to know if it's possible. She wants to marry one. And she knows if she marries any of them, she's going to cheat with the other one. We're going to be right back. And that's where we're going to take all the calls and all your opinions. Because this story is very, very deep. I'm going to see you guys in a few seconds. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Moments with Blessing CEO. And if you're just tuning into this channel, channel 189 DSTV, happening only on Pop Central. It's Moments with Blessing CEO where we talk about everything that happens behind closed doors, love, sex, marriage, and life in general. We actually have a story today where a woman said she's in love with two men. She's trying to ask, is it possible to love two people at the same time? She's sleeping with the two of them. She says she loves the both of them equally. And right now, one of them is about to propose. She is trying to say that if she takes the engagement ring, she will still be sleeping with the other one. And even if she gets pregnant right now, she does not know who she is pregnant for because she's sleeping with the both of them. Which kind of Allah be this one? All these Gen Z bodies. That is what we are deliberating on now. So the phone lines are right on your screen. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear your opinions about it. Is it. Have you ever fallen in love with two guys before? Do you believe that a woman can be in love with two guys? Or do you believe that a man can be in love with two women at the same time? Please feel free to call the number right on your screen. And please, when you're calling, do me a favor to turn down the volume of your TV so that I can hear you loud and clear. For me, I said it's not possible to love two people at the same time. If you're loving two people at the same time, you're a thief. You're an armed robber. Police, they need to handcuff you. You're a thief. It's because you're benefiting something from the both of them. You are selfish. Yes, because you can never love two people at the same time and love them equally. It's not possible. You'll be sneaking to pick this one's call like rats. You'll be sneaking to a pistol and burning like school like that. I used to tell people, the punishment for cheating is hiding. You'll be running up and down. You are in a relationship where every time your phone is black. In our wali Hello, we have a caller. Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. 
Okay, I think we lost the caller. We lost the caller. Please, when you call, turn down the volume of your TV, please. So we are still talking about the woman who says she's in love with two people, and I said she's an arm robber. That you can never love two people at the same time. It's not possible. We have agape love. Agape love is that one you give to humanity, like empathic love. That's the love your neighbor as you love yourself. God did not say go and fuck your neighbor as you fuck yourself. He did not tell you to go and be sharing because he said share love, be kind. You understand? But when you are in a relationship and you are dedicated and focused, God did not tell you to go and be opening your quakus for everybody. It's already enough seen that we are fornicating, that we are sleeping with each other, forming boyfriend and girlfriend, we never marry. We are still begging God for that forgiveness. You will not come and add another one on top, the one that you are doing. Because what we are doing is fornication. The truth about it is we are not supposed to have sex until we get married. But because it has become a norm, when you come and see it, you know that it's something that is not applicable. You understand? I am one relationship therapist. I like to talk about matters that are relatable. It's not as if I cannot come and sit down here and be shouting, it's not good to do this one. Mm -mm. I will speak on matters that are relatable, matters that you know that you do. And that's why I said, this show, Moments with Blessings to You, is everything that happened behind closed doors. Those things that you are hiding will bring it out. We have another caller. Hello? 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 Hello, good evening, sir. Hello? I can hear you, good evening, sir. Don't we can say Hello? Yes. I can hear you, good evening. Good evening. How may we help you, sir? What's your name? Hi, it's today. Okay, you want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Yeah. I can hear you, good evening. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sir. Go ahead. Yes. My name is Ikum Solomon Ayang. Okay. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. Go ahead, sir. I can hear you. Hello. We lost the call. I can hear you. All you need to do is turn down the volume of your TV. The reason why you think I cannot hear you is because the volume of your TV is up. So it's echoing. When you're calling, you reduce the volume of your TV. We are still talking about the beautiful young lady. We have another caller. Hello? Hello? Can you turn down the volume of your TV? Hello? 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 Good evening. Good evening. Hello? I can hear you. Hello? I can hear you loud and clear, madam. Go ahead. We lost the caller. Please now, this is a live show. When you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. I don't know how you want to be calling and be hearing yourself in television. It doesn't make sense. Feel free to call the number right on your screen to share your opinion. We are still talking about the lady who is in love with two men. And she's saying that one of them want to get married to her and she's still going to be cheating. She's saying she loves the both of them equally. Hello. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Hello. Good evening. Sound check if there's something wrong with this. Hello, I can hear you. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Okay, um, I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, ma, go ahead and contribute. Go ahead. Okay, so what I want to say about the girl is that um, I feel she's actually lost in after them. I don't think she actually loves any of them. I feel what's, what's, what's going on there is pure lust. Like um, probably the one that she wants to get married to is the one that has the money, is the one that has, you know, as in the lust is more with the one she wants to get married with. But uh, my advice to her is that uh, doing that, I mean, 
hurting, carrying the heart of two men, and um, and um, how would I put it now? Like wanting to play with two men, it will definitely backfire her at the end of the day. She will be the one to suffer it. That's it. She will be the one to suffer it. She will be the one to lose because there is no gain in what she's about to indulge herself in. There is no gain. There is no peace of mind. There is no happiness. There is nothing there. She will be the one to lose. So my advice for her is that if she knows that the, the, she, she's lost it after the two men, then she should leave both of them and focus on herself and know what she wants in a man before indulging in any other relationship. So that's my contribution. Thank, Thank you. you so much, my God bless you, and we love you for the contribution. Thank you. This woman is a very intelligent woman. She made a very important point. And I wanted to say this at the end of the show, but since she has brought it up, let me say it. Dear young lady, if you actually want to heal, you have to break up with the two men because you are not in love with them. You will break up with the two of them and go and heal. A lot of you women are broken. Some of you didn't have father's love. Some of you have daddy problem. Some of you started your life very young. Now is why you can see a 13, 10-year-old girl and a man will lure her with biscuits and sleep with her. It's because there's no love at home. Some of us grew up without seeing our fathers. It is just we, the tough ones, that refuse to do the things that a lot of children are doing that are bad today. So I'm going to say to the beautiful lady, because you think you are in love with the two of them, you are not. You are just a thief. Because the way you are saying it, none of these men look poor. So you are collecting from me and collecting from me. Which bank do you want to open? Is it First Bank or Union Bank? Eh? You are Yahoo, EFCC, investigator. Mm -hmm. So we have another caller. Hello? Hello? Okay, we lost the caller. Please, when you call, turn down the volume of your TV. We're still talking about a, be about a beautiful lady that is in love with two men. So the bone of contention we are arguing is, is it possible to love Hello. two men? Hello. Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hello. I can hear you. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Good evening, ma. Hello. Go I ahead. can hear you. Good evening, ma. We lost the caller. When you call, oh, I, I can hear you. Good evening, ma. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, ma. Is there something wrong with my mic? Can't you hear me? I can hear you. Hello. Hello, good evening. Please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. I beg you, please. Come on, we should be like adults now. It's getting very annoying. When you call, turn down the volume of your TV. You can't be wanting to have a conversation and you want to be watching yourself on TV. It will be echoing in the phone. The number is still right on your screen if you want to contribute to the show. We are talking about the woman who is in love with two people. The question is, can you love two people at the same time? We have another Hello. caller. Turn the down the volume of your TV. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, please. I want to. Good evening, ma. Good evening. Please, I want to make a decision. This uh, lady that you are talking about, I think, hello, can you hear me? The what? Okay, the lady that you are talking about, I think uh, she's selfishly uh, lost in after those two guys. He's not really in love with them. Mm. She's just lost in after them. Mm. And I think the best thing for her is to just quit the relationship because what she's indulging herself in, she's just playing with them. And it's not fair at all. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you so much, my darling. 
Hmm. I think I love the woman. I need more callers. Feel free to call the number right on your screen to contribute. Is it possible to love two people at the same time? That is what we're deliberating on. I'm in love with this one. I don't know how to leave this one. I want to marry this one. I'm in love with her. We have another caller. Hello? Yes, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Mr. Suluan Ayang from Cross River State. Okay, sir, you want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, sir. My name is it's okay. I can hear yes. you, sir. Go ahead. Okay. I want to contribute in this program and to let the, this young lady to be informed that in every relationship there is an excellence. Okay. I want to contribute to this program and to let the, this young lady to be informed. That's in every relationship. We lost the caller. Please, when you call, turn down the volume of your TV. I want to get to hear your opinions. We have another caller. Hello? We lost the caller. Hello, Hello. good evening, ma'am. Hello, good evening. good evening. Can you turn down the volume of your TV, ma'am, so I can hear you? It's turned already. Can okay, you what's me? your name and where are you calling from, ma'am? My name is Joy. I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, go ahead. You want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Yes, Turn I down the volume of your TV, please. It's turned already. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay, what I want to contribute on this show is that the lady that is in love with it's turned already. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I said the lady. The lady. I, 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 I'm, I've been a position. I've been a position before. Okay. I got what she's feeling. To me, I feel that she just think about it. Probably she loved the first man for something else. Then she loved the second person for something else. Because I've been in that situation before. I just realized I love the first person and I have a reason for it. So for me to the lady, she just focus on the person she loves. If not the second love, I'm not sure about it. Thank you so much. Now this beautiful lady said she should focus on the first person that she loves. This woman said she loves all of them. We don't even know the one that is first and the one that is last. There is nothing like focus. You know, let's stop sweet tonguing these things, right? If now men now, all of a women go jump up. Men are cheat. Men has come. We said it. Men and then it don't reach you man turn. All of a voice don't they low out. It don't they come down, no. When I don't they say let the woman go and work on herself. Oh. Madam, if I'm to advise you, leave those two young men. You do not deserve them. Because you don't know the meaning of love. You can't love two of them because you cannot focus. In the relationship and marriage, the beauty about two people coming together to become one in agreement is to be able to help me in my weaknesses. If I marry a man now, there's a part of him that he's weak, I will be strong. There's a part that he'll be strong. That's the beauty of marriage. That's why the Bible said two will come together in agreement to become one. So if you know you're not ready to agree, stay in your father's house and, be doing, and you have been doing the prostitution, why are you people rushing into marriage? Because he's not, he's not looking as if it's the wayward ones that get married and it's the good ones that are single. Because I'm expecting this thing to be coming from, you know, some sort of girls like 18, 19, not mature women like this, telling me you're confused about a man that, are you kidding me? That at your age, if they should call you and tell you to define the kind of man you want, you don't know the person. How do you want God to answer your prayer? When you go to church and you go to pray, what do you use to ask him? Because the Bible said, ask me and I will give you. He already knows your mind. But he said, ask me. So when you go to church, what do you use to go and ask God? God, please give me two men. Let the two husbands. I'll be here wearing here. I'll shake my foot. 
speak your about now. Oshie. The spirit is moving. So feel free to call the number on your screen. Hello. 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 Good evening, ma. Good evening, darling. How are you? What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lagos. Go ahead. I can hear you. What do you want to contribute to the okay. show? Okay. I want the girls to learn from my story. Something like this actually happened to me. This was two years ago. So I, I spoke to my school counselor. I went to my school counselor. I spoke to her. And she told me that it's not possible for me to love the both of them at the same time. So I had to reevaluate how long, how far we've come. And I found out that I loved the second one because he was popular. I didn't love him because I loved him. I loved him because I, was, I wanted to be seen as an Iao Pablo. So that was the reason why. So I had to break up with him. And by the grace of God, on the 6th of July, I read him to the other guy. So I oh, think he began uh, watching this now. Congrats to <laughs> love you, my love. You come in and say congratulations, my darling. And thank, thank you, you for making much, a man. wonderful decision. You see, picking like on a way to hear what. Congratulations, much, my darling. And may your yes, marriage ma last and blossom in Jesus' Amen. name. I love you Amen. so very thank much for contributing. Much. I love thank you so you're so beautiful. Thank you so much, my darling. God bless you. You had this beautiful caller right now. I like this show because it's a live show. You can hear people. It's not Instagram or the Brazilian fake account. She said she has been in the situation before and she had to pick one. Right now, she'll be getting married around October. First thing first, madam, what do you want in the relationship? If they call you now, what do you want? We have another caller. Hello? 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 Madam, what do you want? Can you turn down the volume of your TV when you're calling, please? My question is, what do you want in the relationship? What exactly? Choose one. If you're a gold digger, eh? dig your gold and go in peace. Carry your shovel and dig and dig and dig. If you want to build serious relationship, you can't be doing two things at the same time. Oh. It's like you're working in the bank and you're working in somewhere else. I remembered when I was working with the Nigerian police for pension. Let me just you guys. And I was blogging. Each time they'll be giving me query because I was always mixing files. Because I was doing two things at the same time. I woke up one day and I resigned my job. I'm focused on relationship therapist. And I am proud of where I am today. So you cannot focus. You can never see the best in somebody, if you don't take your time to look out to them. I can't be looking at two people. They are not children. Children, when they are unhappy, you know, they are crying. Once you've given your child food, your child is not sick. Once you give them these latest tablets, oh, see, Lord, they don't even want to hear anything that is happening again. Every child carry iPad, they press. That's what's happening. So I'm going to say to every beautiful woman out there, you cannot love two men at the same time. When you think that you love two men at the same time, just know that you're a prostitute in the making. And I shower the hungry you. If you don't say that I shower the hungry you, sit down one place, do the shower. If you finish, you enter husband's house. Did you hear what I said? But for loving two men at the same time is totally big lie. It's not possible. You can only be benefiting from two men at the same time. So, my darling, I'm going to say, go and start business. Because the way I'm looking at the girl that wrote this story, she does not have work. Oh. She's that kind of one I used to keep her like this. Because if you are hard work, I don't know the time that you have to be sharing two men. Handling one man alone for us is work. Bas boss. Or for boy. Name. I raise the ash for you. You sleek one. Ijele, well done. Tomorrow now you will carry Bella and be looking for who the father is. Tomorrow you begin call your picking bastard. If you carry Bella now, the man say you know what you go say the man wicked. You begin to traumatize the child. The child will come into this world. I am your father. I am not your father. He is your father. He is not your father. Just because of your stupidity, women, you need to sit up. Enough of this nonsense. Because the point is that we are bringing beautiful children into this world and we are traumatizing them. A lot of children who are traumatized today, it is a bad decision you took as a mother that many people are suffering to today. Many of your children that has gone the wrong direction is because of the bad characters 
that you chose. Please, please, please. Let's learn to be disciplined. If you cannot be disciplined, don't marry, don't date. Stay and be walking on Allen Avenue. Nobody's going to disturb you. Police don't even get time. Give police money. Police go leave you, go do your shower. When you're ready to settle down, you sit down, you analyze, you focus, you find out what is called his weakness and his strength. You bacon on it. Before we quickly go, I will also tell you a story about my mom and my dad. I love to use them as an example because those are people that I look up to. My mom and my dad were people I never believed would stay in marriage because I saw my mother and my father do basketballs. Basketballs don't be beating, you know, the difference between you are beating your wife and you people are fighting. My father will remove dagger, my mother will remove bottle. It was a basketballs experience until one day my father said, when he was apologizing to my mom, I will never raise my hand on you again. And when my father made that promise to you today, he never raised his hand on my mom again. So I'm going to tell you that beautiful woman out there. <sighs> I understand that you cannot get everything you want in one man. Sometimes eh, you get some men where they meet. You go be like, I carry this one brain, put inside this one head. I've been in that situation. This guy is so intelligent, industrious, calculative, but he's not fine. He's short. He now has a big head. But the only buruku that I love, very tall, sweet, ah, but that one I wish. He get your bad wish with you. I was in the middle of the dead of deep blue sea. Should I go with the short and intelligent or should I go with the tall and foolish? Now, at the end of the day, I did not go with anyone. I ran for my J life. So, when you get into a situation like this where you're already confused, name, carry your two slippers and begin to run. And don't always forget to ask God to give you guidance. When you start having relationship as a young girl, when you get to 18 years, a lot of men will be coming to you. So what you be thinking is because you are fine. Now lie. They are coming because they know you are vulnerable. They should come to people like us and let us give them billing. By the time we take them to Polo here, they spend 30 million. We take them to this Chinese restaurant, they spend 100,000, 100, their eye will open. Most of them are not coming to you young girls because they love you. They are coming to you because they know you are vulnerable and you are easier. So if you are a young girl, I used to tell you, the first thing you do once you get to 18 is to find out your identity. Who are you? Many of you have lost your identity because of you don't know who you are. You see yourself through a man. A man is not supposed to be your mirror. You are supposed to mirror yourself, know yourself. That's the reason why when a man meets you and he wants to ask you out, you know the first thing he says, Hi, beautiful, can I get to know you? The question now is, who are you? And I'm going to be leaving you with that assignment on the show until I see you next Saturday, same time, 10 p.m., same station, channel 189, only on Pop Central. It's moments with blessings to you, and I love you guys so very much. If you have any questions that you still want to ask, you can you know, follow my handles. You all know me, you know? Send me a DM, send me an email. We also have an office where you can walk in for therapy right here in Lagos. So feel free, anyone that is convenient for you, if you want to do online therapy. I love you guys, and it's Moments with Blessing CEO, channel 189, every Saturday, only on Pop Central. I love you guys. <laughs>